How is it going guys? It has been quite some time since we've done a new products video. There hasn't been a ton of new products and I've been focusing on the exhaust Bible series. If you guys haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out above. We've tested a ton of different exhausts to make it as easy as possible for you guys to compare. And that brings us to our first group of products in this month's video, which are exhaust. We've got the Remark Elite Spec Cat Back. This is probably my favorite exhaust out of the Remark lineup. It's two and a half inch piping all the way through, ends in three and a half inch tips in either a polished stainless steel or burnt stainless steel tip cover. It looks absolutely amazing and sounds pretty good as well. If you're looking for something a little bit different, a bit unique, we've got their Sports Touring Catback, which utilizes a quad tip design. So they've stuffed two three inch tips into each of the exhaust hole cutouts to give you that quad exit look. It's certainly not gonna be for everybody, but I know some of you guys out there wanna be different than the rest, and this certainly gives you a unique look. It sounds pretty much identical to the Elite Spec because from the tips on back, it's essentially the same exhaust. Let's say you want to change how your exhaust sounds, but you want something a little bit more inexpensive. Well, Remark has you covered there as well. They have two different axle back options. Again, if you want something a bit more on the unique side, they have their Boso Edition axle back, which plays off of the JDM Bosuzoku styling with their ridiculously large exhaust. So these are three and a half inch tips that are a bit on the longer side, so they do stick out a tad bit more. Uh, available in either polished stainless steel, burnt stainless steel, or a burnt blue stainless steel where the whole tip is blue. If you're wanting something a bit more traditional, you can go with their uh, regular axle back, which has four and a half inch tips that completely fill out the exhaust hole cutouts, either double wall or single wall in a polished stainless steel or burnt stainless steel. These are gonna sound identical. Most muffler deletes do sound identical. They're gonna shave off about 10 pounds from the heavy stock muffler. Uh, since they do sound the same, I'm just gonna show you one of these clips. Another option that I'm a big fan of, and I know a lot of you guys are as well, is from AWE. They've got two different options. Their Touring Edition, which utilizes their 180 degree technology in those resonators to cancel out any drone but it still has a very deep and aggressive tone to it, making it the perfect exhaust for a daily driver because you don't have to deal with that annoying drone. If you're wanting to be a bit more rowdy, or actually a lot more rowdy, they have their Track Edition exhaust, which is essentially just a straight pipe exhaust. They even warn you on the website that it is super loud. Quick interruption to give you guys some info on an event that we have coming up called the Flat Four Throwdown on September 3rd, hosted at Pittsburgh International Race Complex. You can either just attend and watch, or if you think you have a super fast Subaru or you a fast driver yourself, come compete for a chance to win up to $5,000. If that piques your interest, the link is down in the description for some more info. Both of these exhausts are available with massive five inch double wall tips, either polished stainless steel or diamond black. Now let's say you have the Touring Edition and you want it to be a bit louder, or you have the Track Edition and it's a bit too rowdy. Well, we actually have conversion kits available to convert from one to the other without having to buy the whole exhaust again. These cars come stock with a Torsen LSD. Essentially how this works is by attempting to slow down the wheel that's spinning faster and speed up the wheel that's spinning slower to a certain degree, depending on the torque bias ratio. Uh, with a four to one ratio, one side can handle up to 80% of the torque. But if you lift a rear wheel uh, or you're cornering super hard under acceleration, sometimes that Torsen diff can act 
the same as an open diff and you're losing out on that performance. And that's where a locking or clutch type diff comes into play. This month we've got the Tomei one and a half and two way LSD. And this physically locks the two rear wheels uh, when there's torque applied and forces them to spin at the same speed making the rear end of the car much more predictable under cornering and activates more rear end grip. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of it. If you're more interested in LSDs, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll give you a video with more information and who knows, maybe I'll throw one in the FRS. This next product gives us a bit of function and form. This is the Grimspeed Post Math Hose Kit. It's a direct replacement for the OEM unit. Now, it's no secret that the stock intake on these cars does a very good job. So most people just throw an aftermarket filter in there and call it good. But if you look at the inlet hose, you can see the corrugated pattern that disrupts the airflow going into the engine. So this smooths it all out. We actually did toss this on our car and take it to the dyno and did see a slight improvement. Same car, same day, same dyno. Now, was it 10, 15, 20 horsepower? No, but five or six horsepower, not too bad for 90 bucks. Uh, it's available in either a red or black. So you add a little bit of bling to the engine bay and get a slight bump in performance. If you guys have been following along on my FRS Time Attack build, you'll know that I've been running some Faction Fab FR spec coilovers for quite some time now. And for a budget-friendly solution, they've done really well and I've been impressed. They handle all the abuse that I throw at them. But with that being said, Faction Fab has gone out and redesigned their FL and FR spec and come out with a V2. They've retuned the spring rates, uh, the valving, uh, and you have better damping adjustment. They've included offset camber plates so you can more easily run more camber. On the FL specs, you get the rubber isolated camber plates to make them even more comfortable on the street. And again, for a budget friendly solution, these are making me think uh, of upgrading to the V2s, but I'm not sure if I want to go down that path and redo everything. We'll see. For those of you who didn't get the OEM trunk lid spoiler and have been wanting it, We've got you covered and I've even made an install video for you to make it as easy as possible. We've got the red, white, black, and unpainted options. If you have the other colors, we're working on that. But I really do love how this looks. It gives the rear end of the car a much more aggressive silhouette to it. And like I said, I've got the install video. It's really not that hard to do. You can either mount it using the uh, pre-applied 3M and the studs by drilling into the trunk lip, or if you don't want to drill into the trunk lip, you can just take those studs out and install it using the pre-applied 3M. Another thing that doesn't come standard in these cars is floor mats and trunk mats. But we've got all of them available on our website. You can either go with the uh, standard carpet mats or the all-weather mats, which are more rubberized material and it's gonna be a bit better uh, containing any liquids that you spill or drag in with your shoes. Personally, I'm running the all-weather mats in my car and have no complaints. One of the things that bothers me the most about a stock engine bay is these yellow plastic caps on everything. But if you look in my engine bay now, there's no more of these. And that is because we replaced them with the various engineering caps. Super easy to install. They are direct replacements besides the one on the brake fluid reservoir, but literally the one on the coolant overflow, the washer fluid, and the one on the brake fluid reservoir just pop into place. Obviously the oil uh, cap spins into place, but you get the idea. Really easy to install and they look a thousand times better than this. And that's gonna do it for today, guys. As always, if you like something you saw, the links are down in the description. If you wanna follow along on my FRS and GR86 build, check out my personal channel. I'll link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Ooh. Since you guys decided to stick around, I've got some other stuff to show you. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at some products that we're working on behind the scenes just to give you a heads up. First one being these carbon fiber mirror covers. These are a full mirror cover, so it's top and bottom, not just the top, and it goes all the way around. I'll come around the door here. It does have the cutout for the blind spot monitoring, so if you don't have that, you are gonna have a cutout there. 
And then right beneath that, look at that. Let's see if I can make it a little bit brighter for you. So these are carbon fiber covers for the door cards. There you go, that looks amazing. And the fitment on this also is spot on. And then right underneath, we've got carbon fiber trim for the door trim here, both the one on the bottom and this upper panel. And these are just covers, so they just pop, or they just sit on top of the original piece. And they've got double-sided tape on the underside that's already pre-applied, so you just peel off the backing and stick these on. And then I'm gonna hop in the car here for a few more, few more pieces. One of them being this trim piece for the vents. Again, this just sits on there like so. And then down here, we've got a piece for the shifter trim. So it covers the trim piece under the switches here and goes all the way around the shift knob. Looks pretty damn good if you ask me. Let me know what you guys think. Figured you'd like uh, a little sneak peek of uh, what we're working on.